a friend of the show. And when I say friend of the show, I mean that only because you know him. Uh, but Milo Yedinak uh, is deciding to hang up the boots. It's been a great career, hasn't it? It's been a sensational, uh, looking back, because often off when a player does this, I'll go, oh, yeah. I'll go, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Like, he's done some bits and pieces. It's, uh, it's a sad day, but it's an ex- exciting game, I suppose, for his family as well. Uh, I think uh, I'm just surprised in a way that it's taken so long to announce it. Yeah. Because it, it just seemed that, you know, it's been obviously a long time since he last played his, game, last, his last game. And it just sort of seemed like, well, is he going to actually announce it or is he just going to let it go and just sort of disappear into the wilderness or go into coaching or whatever? And I, and I mean, I never came out officially and announced I was retired, um, which is fine. People, I think, just assumed that at the age of 43, he wasn't going to play anymore. Whereas Mille, he was linked with going back to the A-League, um, potentially going to, to India or, or in the Middle East somewhere. And obviously that never kind of eventuated. So, yeah, no, to listen, it's, it's, it's just unfortunately it happens to all of us. You know, you get to the end, end of your career. Um, yes, he's had, a, he's had a great career. You know, he was captain of Australia winning the first Asian, Asian Cup trophy on home soil, which obviously being the first will always be there in history. You know, to be the first captain, mm-hmm. first uh, Australian, you know, soccer was captain to lift the Asian Cup on home soil. Um, when will the Asian Cup ever be back in Australia again? Who knows? Um, when will Australia ever have a chance to win the Asian Cup ever again? Who knows? But I think, you know, it's a tremendous achievement to score um, at the World Cup like, he, like he's done on a couple of occasions. Uh, he was one of, the, one of these, I think, standout performers at the World Cup for Australia. Um, I think he, he's had a, a, a far better career than a lot of people probably thought he would have. Um, he was a little bit late getting his opportunity playing for the national team, particularly as a regular. And I think there were times where people doubted whether or not he was capable of, of stepping up and being that leader. And he's proved them all wrong. And he's been a been a great servant of the game and been a, uh, a very you know a top top quality captain for the Socceroos and um, and has had a really really good career. And, and I wish him all the very best. When uh, players retire, you often think you know certainly if they've played for a few teams. Uh, you have your own reasons for the way you picture them. You know, you picture them in a certain shirt. Who Who is Mila Yedinak in terms of a footballer? How, how do you look at him? Do you look at him as a as the captain of the Socceroos? Do you look at him as a, a Palace great? Uh, how do you picture him? Um, I, I think he's he's definitely got a bit of a cult, cult following from Crystal Palace. Uh, being part of the Crystal Palace side that got promoted, won promotion that year as well. So I think that forever is kind of like ingrained within the the, the fans of the club that you know you play a massive part in that. Uh, he, you know he played a big part in. He was captain of Crystal Palace when they were in the Premier League, and, and, and he and he did a really good job. I was actually surprised when he left when he left uh, Palace to go to Aston Villa. Um, but you know I think for me, first and foremost, the soccer recruits coming back. Playing against Honduras in those qualifiers, those do or die qualifiers, after hardly playing a game of football for 12 months because of injuries. I thought he was absolutely outstanding in both those games. The first one in particular away in Honduras, he was, he was incredible. At home, of course, scoring the goals, scoring the penalty was, was brilliant. So instrumental in that part. So for me, first and foremost, I see him as, you know, a soccer Um and then obviously towards the, the kind of latter part of his career, the, the, the captain and winning the Asian Cup. But then I think probably even more so, uh, no, not even more so, but then the next for me would be Central Coast Mariners, being part yeah. of that Central Coast Mariners squad that came through. A lot of young players, Graham Allen was the manager, and making, making the A-League Grand Finals against kind of a lot of, against the odds, low budget, um, good crop, really good crop of young players coming through. And I probably see more there. as, wow. as I, more about a Central Coast Mariners midfielder and a young up and coming talented midfielder. And then firstly, first and foremost, soccer.